Breast cancer is a disease that has changed considerably over the past decade. One in nine Canadian women will develop this horrible disease. One in 25 will die from it. People need to know about this disease and other diseases that can hit at any age and it can hit anyone. Being a young person with breast cancer has been really lonely. You know, you think of it as your grandma's disease or your aunt's disease or your mom's disease, but it's not. That's one of the reasons why the Toronto Argonauts and Hamilton Tiger Cats recently held the third annual Battle for Breast Cancer charity basketball game at Sheridan College in Oakville, Ontario. I lost an aunt to uh, breast cancer when I was younger and it really devastated me. So I know the toll it takes on the family and anything you can do in a cause such as this, when the, when the fight is strong and, and the more people that get involved, the better the fight will be. So yeah, it means a lot to me and I'm glad I can come and help. And help is what hundreds of spectators did as they watched these two longtime provincial rivals come together for a cause off the football field. Argonaut Richard Siegler, who had 12 points in the contest, knows all too well the toll this disease takes on family members, as his mother had it, beat it, and survived it. Well, you know, this is just a great, a great event, a great way to raise money for breast cancer awareness and research and treatment as well. So we're just out here trying to do everything we can to support those uh, horrible incidents when they, when they uh, strike a family. Well, you know what? I was always, from a young age, taught to give back. The more you give back, the more you receive. So. It's always been a part of me now. I can see the smiles that it brings to people's faces. And I mean, it's enjoy it makes me it makes me happy as well. It's huge, you know, anytime that I can uh, help by just, you know, bringing my presence and uh, sitting around talking to people and trying to get people to do the right things and just relay the right messages that it's okay for everybody to come out and help these people with breast cancer because a lot of people are surviving it now. Some numbers. 10 years ago, 19,000 Canadian women were diagnosed with breast cancer. 5,400 of them died. Last year, just under 25,000 new cases were diagnosed, while 5,300 died. So 6,000 more cases, but 100 less deaths. Hard evidence that research and development is clearly working. My eight-year-old daughter at the time said to me she didn't want to be a woman because she didn't want to have breast cancer. And it affected me because I knew she was scared. You know, we all felt powerless at the time. We were scared and devastated of what would happen. And she also saw the changes that were coming happening to me, my fear and the fear of the unknown. Breast cancer accounts for 30% of all new cancer cases in Canada. And while the Argos won the game, 63-54, making it three straight, it pales in comparison to the cause, one that will have to continue with events like this. This disease can be won, and that if we work together, we can find a cure. I feel the armor that it's going to take for me to fight this. I feel it here. All proceeds from the event go to Breast Cancer Research and the Princess Margaret Hospital Breast Cancer Research Fund. Now, over the course of the four years that this event has gone toward that charity, they will have raised over $10,000 with this event. In Oakville, Ontario, I'm Drew Morrison.